Over the last two years, I went from looking like this, this, and this, to this, this, and this. I'm still the same person in many ways, and I don't dislike what I was before, but there's no denying that appearance matters a lot when you're meeting new people, whether it's romantically, socially, or professionally. It's not just about the looks. The tips I'm about to share with you will help you become more confident from the inside. Let's get into it. All right, so I've been seeing this thing going around about glowing up, right? How to glow up as a guy. And I thought I would make my own guide because I have actually been getting a lot of requests for this kind of stuff. So let's get into it. The first thing that was one of the biggest things for me was fixing my teeth. Now, I had these two teeth going in it kind of made me self-conscious about smiling with my mouth open and i didn't even realize it was almost me doing it subconsciously because i didn't like how i looked when i smiled a lot of people even told me you look really good like this is a great photo because it's like good energy right but i'd look at that and be like i don't look good that way because i was not happy with the way that my teeth looked Fixing your teeth is going to transform your looks more than just about anything because your jaw structure, your internal facial bone structure is actually what's being changed when you fix your teeth. And the OG fans of this channel will know that early on in the channel, my first videos, I had braces. Like literally go check it. I had braces the whole time. It's one of the closest things to plastic surgery that you could basically get next getting laser eye surgery i got that too both of them were done in korea i think korea is quite good for this technology but getting laser eye surgery meant that i didn't have to wear glasses now i still wear glasses look i, I think i look i look pretty pretty good with glasses right so glasses are a good aesthetic but if you have really bad eyesight like i did then the lenses have to be really thick which means that through the lenses your eyes end up looking really small so it again kind of messes up the proportions on your face so if you're someone that has really bad eyesight i would recommend that you get laser eye surgery so that you have the choice of wearing glasses as an aesthetic as an accessory but you also have the choice of not wearing it on top of that it's just so good not to have to wear glasses when you do sports the next one is building an aesthetic body that's a body that has muscle and is lean that has that v taper i have so many videos going into how to do that but you knew this was coming the first step of glowing up okay is not even fixing your teeth or getting laser eye surgery all these things that take money the thing that everybody can do is start building muscle and losing fat if you do that you'll surprise yourself with how good you can look when you lose body fat, then you're going to like reveal this body that was underneath you and the cheekbones that were underneath your face fat. And that whole transformation is going to get people saying like, yo, I didn't know you. You were so stylish. I didn't know you looked so good. You're kind of attractive. You're going to start getting these comments once you build an aesthetic body and drop to a low body fat percentage. How do you do that? You got to hit the gym. Don't just do body weight training. I mean, body weight training, if done in the right way, is actually very powerful. But for most people, you don't know how to do it the right way. You just do 20, 40 push-ups and expect your body to change. That's not going to work. You got to hit the gym. Or if you want to do bodyweight training the right way, you know, check out the link below. I actually have a, a system for building muscle with bodyweight training, not just tiring yourself out. And you want to drop fat, which means eat at a caloric deficit. So if you do those things and you watch some of the other videos on the channel that go into this in detail and you build an aesthetic body, that is the number one thing that's going to make you glow up. Because not only does it change your body, working out and dropping fat is better for your general health and mood and confidence confidence which is gonna do what supercharge your looks if you're looking confident feeling confident your facial expressions your posture all of this is gonna show and make you look way glowed up the next is finding your skin triggers having good skin which by the way in korea you get some really good skin people skincare korean skincare is going crazy i grew up in the west for most of my adolescent years so i don't know that much about skincare you know i keep getting asked like make skincare videos and skincare videos i try to keep it minimalist the most important thing to do is not necessarily all these fancy skincare products but to find out what triggers the spots and the acne on your skin so for example i'll tell you a little story that recently i've been minimalizing what i eat so i only eat just the same kind of meals like this thai place this sushi place this salad place and then i have a selection of home cooked meals so when i do something out of the ordinary like have korean barbecue right barbecued pork with bad oil it gave me like spots just two spots which you might even be able to see like little remnants of and they just popped up 
And that's how I know, because I had a minimalist diet and lifestyle, I could actually just detect, okay, so it was the pork that caused it. So I know that that's the trigger. You need to do this for yourself where you know what things trigger what on your skin and try to avoid it. For me, it was this barbecued pork. For some reason, if it's inside like Korean hot pot, it doesn't give me this. When you eat outside, usually bad food full of like bad oil, it will give you these skin triggers. So minimalize your diet, find out your skin triggers so that you can get that glass skin. Next, you wanna eat a healthier diet. This will change your looks. If you eat healthy, you're gonna glow from your skin. You're gonna have that clarity in your eyes. You're gonna have that good mood, good blood circulation and all of that from the inside is going to basically make you glow so if you have had hyper processed food if you've had like triple xl double cheeseburgers which you know they can taste amazing don't get me wrong but afterwards how do you feel afterwards how do you look if you ever went through a period of having like ordering bad food having chinese takeaway and domino's pizza how do you look you develop man boobs you look kind of shitty you feel crappy and you don't glow your eyes are dim the opposite of that which is to glow which is your having health running through your veins vitality clarity in your eyes that all comes from a healthy diet healthy greens healthy fruits whole foods so opt for a healthy diet and this is going to massively change your mood and your looks next you know the secret like to korean girls having amazing skin is all of them that have amazing skin, they just sleep like crazy. You know, baby skin, like where you grab a part of their cheek and their whole face moves this way because it's so tight. <laughs> you know that, right? Baby cheeks, that's like really good skin. Whereas if you have like really saggy skin where you grab it and there's no tension, then your skin is probably weaker and drier. You want facial muscles, so you might want to do jaw exercises and stuff, but these are minor things. What you really want to do is get good sleep because sleep is what's gonna fix the bad things on your skin, regenerate all the dead skin, like crappy skin. I know so many people that don't even do skincare, but they just sleep well and they got amazing skin. Of course, a lot of it is genetics, but all things being equal, I think good sleep is probably the biggest difference maker when it comes to how good you look because your skin will just improve so much. Next, there's something that is super duper attractive and charismatic and appealing that comes from a person that loves what they do, that comes from a place of passion and purpose. And you have it too. So let's say you're just super into like Liverpool football club or a video game counter-strike when you talk about counter-strike because it's the favorite thing to your friend you have that glimmer in your eye you have that glow and you're so charismatic you're so attractive you're so expressive you're so creative and you're so encapsulating this happens because it comes from that authentic place of passion from talking about what you love. So if you're doing what you love, if you're actually engaging in activities and jobs and projects and relationships where you are aligned Okay, you're aligned in your thoughts, words, and actions. Therefore, you can be more authentic. Then this is the true glow. This is the moment where, you know, like you've been in social situations and people just really start to like you and watch you. They're not just listening. They're just kind of watching you like they watch a movie. They're watching something unfold because you're so in the zone. The way you get that is by just having that passion for something. So you do have it. Before you tell me, oh, I don't have it. You do have it. It's just that probably you think it's not worthwhile. But lean into that and magnify it because that's where your true glow lies. Next, finding some fashion sense. I'm going to talk about this because nobody is making fashion videos for the dummies like me who didn't know how to dress. Okay, I'm not a naturally fashionable guy. I had to learn it the hard way, but now I crack the code kind of. I don't dress like that well or anything but I understand so many things better now. So I made a really good video already, but to keep the point short, you wanna find some fashion sense. And if you're not naturally fashionable, what you gotta do is you gotta find a minimalist style, minimalist training, minimalist diet, minimalist fashion. What is minimalist fashion? You just stick to the fundamental colors, fundamental fits, fundamental pieces, fundamental tones, fundamental materials. Don't mess about. Just like you do compound exercises in the gym, stick to the fundamentals when it comes to fashion. And if you don't know how to do it, obviously check out my video, but also consult some friends that have that sense. Usually some, some girlfriends that you have, they'll know a little bit about this. If you've got no female friends, if you've got no girlfriend, ask some of your bro friends who got that fashion sense. If you got no bros, dude, watch my video. Okay, I'll make another one. So hit subscribe. Next one, the last point is probably the most important. When I didn't have all of these things nailed down, 
because by the way i'm not just trying to speak from this top down like i know everything and you don't like i can say all of this because it's literally every single thing that i overcame that i changed so it's all from personal experience this is the most important back when i didn't have all this figured out i was still rocking it i still believed in myself and i didn't act like i was not good what do i mean like i didn't act as if i was an ugly guy as if i was not desired in my 20s without all of these things that i thought i still was fully just owning my reality in terms of this is great this is how i look i love it i'm grateful for it let's go you need this mentality this is what's actually going to make you look glowed up you can have bad teeth you can have bad eyesight and glasses you can even have a fat body you can even just do all of the things in a bad way but if you have the belief in yourself that you are the shit that you look good that you have something to offer the world then the world will see you thus. It's one of the most powerful things that you can realize as a young guy or girl watching this is that you don't need to just accept what the world wants to see you as, right? That's what they want to kind of frame you inside of this little box. But if you just say, okay, no, I'm this and you go with it, you fully believe it, that is confidence. The question then is, well, how do you get that? Like, how do you get the balls to just believe in yourself and just rock it? Unfortunately, there's no simple answer to that. You gotta get, go through some pain, go through some rejection, go through some hard stuff, overcome some hard stuff, and get some good experiences, actually by doing some of the things that I outlined, so that you get some good experiences, and that's how you build that confidence it's kind of like a chicken and egg situation i do realize let me know what you think in the comments share this video with your friends and see you in the next video